But I find the two at the back much more compelling than this, this one. It's still, uh -huh. still offering itself as potentially a portrait, whereas the other two, I, you know, they, they don't seem to offer themselves as a likeness visually to somebody I might know, mm -hmm. uh, to, to another human being. I mean, they're obviously human heads, but um, but all, all trace of kind of recognizable features seems to have been removed. Um, and, and even the location of features is disrupted. Yes, and, and I think you're offered, at least in this one, multiple possibilities of where mm -hmm. the features are or could be. Um, yeah, it seems if it were differently lit, they, you might read them yeah. elsewhere. Yeah. And yet they, they, they have, I think particularly this one, uh, a remarkable presence. Mm -hmm. And they do feel the presence of, of um, a particular individual uh, engaging me uh, in, in a very compelling and and not comfortable way. As impossible as it might seem, you feel like you could recognize that person. Yes. From the bust. But you'd be recognizing them out of a previous emotional interaction, not, not mm. essentially based on, on the appearance, mm -hmm. the visual appearance. And the, the two outer pieces seem as much excavated as modeled. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say carved, but like really literally excavated. And not just gouged, but almost re returned to, as if modeling is also un uncovering. I think that's a very good word, uncovering. I think as if that's what he's really trying to do, is uncover something beneath the, the obvious appearance, mm -hmm. the, the, the superficial likeness, um, and, and, and the extent to which he can do that, uh, and, and, and hold on to or abandon that, that a sense of a, of a likeness, of a recognizable likeness. Mm -hmm. It seems to be the issue, or one of the issues he's engaging, you know, how can he, how can he portray, if I can use that word, you know, a, a, a sense of an inner life uh, w without, you know, engaging in some kind of facial expression or some kind of mm -hmm. other, you know, can you find a formal, a formal way, a, a way of altering the form from, you know, the, the obvious kind of portrayal of the features uh, to rearticulate that, that. It, it comes again to how does one recognize yes. the face? Yes, 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 and, 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 and what is that, you know, what is... And what does one recognize? Yes. What does it mean to, to recognize, you know, uh, reconceptualize something as if you have it in your head and you hit on it again? In, these things can be thought to be meaningless. Uh, they, 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 so, they, they so clearly offer themselves as heads, mm -hmm. and yet they so clearly don't offer themselves as uh, you know, something uh, as a person uh, one can recognize. They, you know, they seem so uh, altered, uh, removed from uh, you know, identifiable uh, as 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 individuals, uh, and yet and yet as objects, they're very individual, and mm -hmm. therefore you've got this strange. A wonderful paradox um, 
the you know the unique objects, and they represent heads. Therefore, you know what have we got here? You know, this is a unique something. Mm -hmm. Is it a unique person or is it a unique state of a person? Um, yeah, and how, how, he, how he gets there, you know, does perhaps mean abandoning uh, any concern for those formal mm -hmm. uh, sculptural issues that you were, I think, uh, you know, bringing into the discussion. Mm -hmm. Is that possible? <laughs>